Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity up the left hand corner. We got launch starting as the orange turn, bottom left hand corner. We got semi starting as the white Protoss. This is on retro. It is a best of one to see who stays and who's eliminated. Semi respectably getting dropped to the lower bracket. Uh, via, I actually talked to him in the background and he was a little bit frustrated with his play because he's been distracted with life basically, which is kind of like the nature of anything you want to dedicate, <laughs> anything you want to get more skilled at is life gets in the way. Uh, for him, it, it sounds like it was some school and uh, relationship, uh, needing to dedicate time to relationship, which are honestly the things that should take priority, but still cut into his ability to have the maximum amount of time he wanted to be able to dedicate into this. He's launched on the other side of the thing. I think he has run into very tough opponents all the way across, and now he's going to hit semi, and that's just an absolute ferocious opponent. That being said, I, I liked what launch has shown up to this stage. And I'm hoping he shows a really strong match versus Semi here. That being said, I think I give Semi the advantage overall, just from what I've seen uh, both sides. And that's not, this is not me sliding launch at all. This is just me praising Semi and his level of play recently. Semi playing a bit, uh, playing carefully going for the interior base gateway. Doesn't look like he's going to go for a 14 command center off the bat. I will be curious to see if launch actually goes for economic. No, he's going to go ahead and drop that barracks interior's base first scout however from semi which is a big big boon for protoss whenever you can get it can open up the gas deal although the gas he's not going to be in time with the scouting pattern to go ahead and get the gas deal but any uh early game scouting information where you can get some harassment done where you know to send initial dragoons initial zealots if you decide to build them or advantage i'm expecting to see this is actually the interesting part we'll see if uh semi upon moving in and seeing the quick gas grab if he opts to skip the initial defensive zealot so wanders in finds it sees the gas timing and i'm presuming that launch is going to go for three marines second scv pulling off the line by the way uh, gotta stay gotta stay awake though getting the damage done we do have a gas drop and we are going to see that initial zealot queued up so the initial zealot provides that little bit of padding against that three marine vulture start but you can create some harassment on the front particularly if you keep your probe healthy in the space of this, although they can't do that standing fight. Got to do that that hit and run tactics to keep that shield healthy. Oh, down to some base health and there's the Marine in the background as well. Semi keeping the probe interior wants to spot the factory timing going along that wall line. Does have some base damage now, but yeah, able to getting attack of damage and going to go ahead and exit. Keep in mind, launch has got zero scouting information in the meantime. That Zealot's making its way up. Second Zealot queued up, actually. That, that's a surprise. So Semi going for an aggressive opener. So drop the cybernetic score, but going for two Zealots here to start to try to blockade out this natural expansion. Going to move in with that first Zealot, even though that factory uh, got very little harassment or delay. Maybe because of the distance of this factory. So that's going to be interrupted and slightly delayed. Three SCVs pulling off the line. A little bit of an overcommitment there of SCVs. And this is still a lack of information for launch. Launch, nice blockade, but is going to end up losing a Marine. Nice micro from Semi in the space of it. So another Marine queued up. Vulture's queued up. And this is where it can be problems for the Zealot. It's like, do you, makes me think, uh, should I, the song, should I stay or should I go? Okay, the two Zealots, do they pocket themselves to the north or do they return back to home base? Looks like they're going to pocket themselves to the north. Launch, recognizing that that Zealot got into that base pretty rapidly. So instead making his way across, Semi is not going to catch that SCV. Instead making his way forward. So we got four Marines and a Vulture with three SCV to go ahead and try to secure this natural expansion. Bunker still getting built in the space of this. And the Zealot's able to get underneath once again between that. But the Dragoon's not there in time to support, unfortunately, with all that space and timing. So these Zealots gonna get hunted down and this dragoon coming in just a little bit too late to join the fight and this is without range so this dragoon might end up getting taken out as well it looks like a the second dragoon or a probe managed to kill the scv in the midst of this that was interior to the base we'd have a base being built here from semi so the initial two zealot investment not paying off for semi but he still got a four worker lead did a pretty good job of macroing in the space of this and by exiting out to the nine o'clock the marine's gonna go ahead and let that go Vulture is somewhat damaged, needs to not expose itself while mines have not yet been upgraded. Semi able to find it, and let's see if he can chase it down. 
doing a really good job of keeping both Dragoons active out on the map. Going to get back towards the front, wait for range to finish. So he's got one, one Dragoon dedicated hunting down this Vulture. Let's see if he can get another one pocketed out towards the front. Second Vulture out in the field. It's very important that Launch actually moves this out onto the map. Yeah, okay, so able to get it out on the map to... This is kind of like the Zealot versus for Zerg thing. And it looks like he's dedicating a single Marine on low health to kind of make its way out there to create a bit of chaos as well. Semi continually checking out that location is now, once range is finished, just going to hang out his natural expansion up, drop the pylon, went to gate, uh, Robo Observatory, range just about finished. I like what launch did. He's okay. You're just going to have that Lone Dragoon out here. Well, let's move out to the front. This is very risky though. Just underneath... And actually exposed a mine. We got a second mine, so inviting Semi to take an opportunity to try to do that spider mine dance out on the front. It looks like Semi not going to go for that, so that relieves a lot of pressure on Launch's front. And actually another Vulture underneath might be able to get some free kills here as Semi wasn't able to catch that Vulture earlier. Another Dragoon out on the front going to provide some support right there. So Semi, so Launch doing a great job of getting out on the map and having units all over there. Uh, also able to get a mine down here at the six o'clock location, which will stymie that a little bit. So put himself in a pretty good situation. He's going, he's only stuck to the single factory. He is playing, it looks like, I don't want to call it yet, but this is looking more upgrade turn-ish with just the single factory and the uh, going up to two factory, we'll see, and just going for the single gate upgrades, which I kind of like, honestly, with all the map positioning that Launch has. You can see just the kind of the scattered units he has out in the field. Semi going for that third base at the 9 o'clock location into his opponent rather than the 6 o'clock location, which is a bit of a risk. And getting that and uh, getting that initial shuttle out. Oftentimes you're just... And this is kind of... This is with not precisely knowing what his opponent was doing as far as the factory count underneath this. And also... Because uh, if this was like 3 or 4 factory, this would have been a very difficult hold. So just presuming that launch was going to go for more macro style. Slight supply lead from Semi where he wants to be a slight worker lead as well. Looks like, and actually showing the support bay out on the front. A few vultures, one able to get to the gap. Not unfortunately able to get much else. A, a, kind of a rough situation for both players. Able to discover that three o'clock base at the very least. Launch doing a good job maneuvering the vultures around on the map, but kind of donating them as well. Semi with some solid defense. So not able to get kind of what they were hoping for otherwise. The Dragoon and the Observer breaking through. Starting to tack away at that natural expansion. These tanks do not have siege. So if Semi actually links up with the rest of his Dragoons, he uh, which is seven count right this second. Launch immediately. Okay, he did not. I was about to say immediately needs to get SCVs to defend this. Is going to lose his bunker pretty rapidly. Is going to lose some siege tanks as well. Semi a little bit sloppy. Might have been a little bit more patient wiping that out, but getting two siege tanks is going to get the bunker as well. Now, launch breached. Considering how delayed that that siege was and ends up losing a lot on this natural expansion. Four Dragoons right here. One Dragoon not participating in the battle. And some SCV is going to defend it to provide at least some support here. But I would... Oh, let's see if uh, somebody just rallies troops back to the natural expansion needs to be a little bit careful because he's low on health here but that was a big win for him able to reset that siege tank count create some more there's no bunker here as well as soon as that leg speed is here it can create a little bit more chaos there's also able to get a good look at the turret situation turret behind here not along that corner which makes it with as few troops as there are here makes it a lot of hard semi going for the kill and a reaver shot i missed the reaver coming out on the map the reaver right there and again just not having troops right there launch recognizing like oh man i am just just missed the the bulletin right there didn't have enough to fight it off so semi pouncing and getting the kill great play from semi hope you guys enjoyed it thank you guys for listening